This day away, you're gonna need fake roses from Dollar Tree, green sheet from Walmart, fake moss, little rocks, a white marker, a little bucket I got from Dollar Tree, glitter sheet called Night Sky from Walmart, a foam board, sanding block, and a photo frame. Depending on the size of your photo frame, make the cutout of a shadow box from your foam board. I actually use a donut box as a reference to make this. Figure out which side is going to be your base. Then, cut the green sheet to fit that side. Next, start scraping your green sheet till it's all fuzzy. down to your base side. Now add a thick layer of fake moss. Try not to leave any spaces in between. I'm going to take my little stones and create a sort of a pathway. Once you like how it looks, hot glue it down. Then I'll take my little bucket and add two roses and I'll place it at the side of the box. Remember to hot glue it down. I lost the clip of gluing down the glitter paper to the back, but it's pretty simple. Now I'm going to write a cute phrase with my white marker. Please don't mind my big forehead and my ratchet hair, I'm sorry. Um, I chose the phrase, You're the star in the night sky that fell right into my arms. Oh, how lucky am I. If you have any more ideas for phrases, please feel free to write them down in the comments below. Once you're done, hot glue the box together. It look you can either stop here but I decided to go a step further and I bought fairy lights from Walmart so I'm basically using a screwdriver to poke holes where I want my stars to be and I'm inserting each bulb into each hole from behind now take your photo frame and remove the glass because it is too heavy make sure that these metal things that I'm showing you right now are pointed upwards then hot glue it down to the shadow box. To hide the duct tape, I'll be using construction paper. Cut out the right size like this, I'm using pink, and I will be gluing it on top of it like this. With the lights turned down, this is how it looked, but I wasn't quite happy yet. So I went on to add more on the top and on the sides. And this is how it looked. I really hope you like this Valentine's DIY to give to your loved one. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And follow us on our Instagram page. Thank you!